welcome back to my channel in today's video i have basil with me and edward with me edward is my only male bird in my flock he is the only male i have four girls and one boy right he's so pretty and he molted and like look at his hair he's so pretty anyway today's video is not gonna be that fun i guess um i love both of my birds my two English birds, I guess. Um, Basil is an English budgie, so is Edward. So you guys are probably a bit confused as to why I said why you shouldn't buy one. Um, so let's just get started. So I just want to start off from the beginning. Um, so a little bit about their history. Basically what had happened, at least with pretty much every animal, to domesticate them, you'd take them from the wild. Even with dogs, it was 10,000 years ago, but still same concept. Basically, someone took a budgie from the wild, from Australia, brought it home, and then they had babies. And then this started off an interesting trend where now we have beautiful colors. We have blue budgies, yellow budgies, even green budgies. Green budgies, just like kiwi, um, they could still be fancy budgies. So, some people confuse that. Kiwi is not a regular budgie, she's a fancy budgie. Um, uh, so yeah, and then we decided to get English budgies. We decided that we like certain features, we like certain colors, and we don't really want them to look like anything from the wild. So basically, these little guys, a girl and boy, they look very different, or somewhat different. So what breeders decided to do is that they like a more, thank you for pooping on me, just like every video they poop on me, um, they decided that we want really very long beards. I call them beards, but they're like their cheek feathers. They're very fluffy. I think you can see the fluffiness more on basil. Right, basil? So basically, breeders decided to get them and then breed them based on the very fancy features as I like it. Their features are more exaggerated. Essentially, that's what it is. They're more exaggerated. And kind of you could tell. So with Edward, Edward has a lot of uh, cheek spots. They're very dark. They're very round. They're very circular. But he doesn't have a very pronounced beard or like that featheriness that you could see kind of with more, more of, you know, a bit more with basil. Basil's beard is a bit more fluffy. Although basil doesn't have those very pronounced dark circular spots, you can see them a bit more with Edward. Um, the other difference is that they have a more fluffy head, their body overall is larger, and then the feathers at the back, they are a bit more larger. Um, so yeah, essentially what it basically means is that they have more pronounced features, if that makes any sense, I think it does, but yeah, you get the idea, they're more pronounced features. Now that we looked a bit on their history, why did these birds not make the cut? And what I mean by that, for you to be actually buying an English budgie, it means that they were not as pretty. I know that kind of sounds bad, but if you could find an English budgie, and if you're not someone who breeds English budgies like as a hobby, typically, you're getting the one that didn't meet the cut. So, I guess in other words, you're getting the undesired one. Um, and that happens quite a bit. <clears throat> Basically, typically, if they have a clutch of four or five eggs, only one of those English budgies will make the cut. So that breeder will sell off the other four or three, whatever not, because they're not as pretty. Basically, if you're not in the English budgie community, and if you don't breed these birds as a hobby, like, they're really looking at certain features, and... If the bird doesn't make the cut, you as the buyer is getting the undesired one. That kind of sounds bad, but that's essentially what it is. You get the uglier one. I feel that sounds horrible, but really, that's that's what happens. And it's so sad that I have to call these guys ugly, but in the breeder's eyes, not my eyes, my eyes see them as beautiful angels, but in the breeder's eyes, they are the undesired ones. They are the ones that did not make the cut. So the other issue is once you buy them, it doesn't end there. Now Basil hasn't met the vet yet, so she is going to see the vet. Um, and we will get a bit more of an update on her health. Now Edward on the other hand, we know a bit more information on Edward. Edward actually has a heart arrhythmia, meaning that he has an irregular heartbeat. And what that basically means, one minute is very fast, the other minute it's very slow, the other minute it's normal. 
and it goes in very weird rhythm so I just want to show this video of Edward panting because I want people to understand that Edward has been with me for close to three years well over three years and he will still pant this isn't because he's not a tame bird it, he just has a heart problem so I hope this makes you understand a bit more what I mean by you know English budgies having heart problems so even when he's sitting down even when he is relaxing he will start displaying this panting behavior in fact as you can see his chest is going quite rapidly right now and he's not stressed or anything guys he's as you can see if he was stressed he has his flight feathers he could fly away um, it's just that this is a behavior that they display if they come with health issues so I just really want to be a hundred percent transparent and show you guys the possible issues so you guys can make at least an educated choice when it comes to buying English budgies and then we have cute basil she seems perfectly fine with her breathing but we'll never know um, hopefully we could tell um, further along maybe we might be able to tell a bit more but the vet will tell me a bit more about her condition they don't live long they're not regular budgies or even fancy budgies they are budgies that are built on certain features and those features come with a lot of health problems so like I said with Edward he has a heart arrhythmia we cannot see a lot of the internal stuff I mean you can see the external stuff you know they're very fluffy um, they have a lot of pronounced features they're bigger in size but we don't see the internal stuff how are these birds affected internally now some of the stuff we know and as I have mentioned they have a lot of health, health problems but heart is one of the main problems I've seen a lot of English budgies with a lot of heart problems so arrhythmia is one of them so irregular heartbeat and another thing is I've seen with English budgies is that they have bigger hearts so again bigger hearts it's, it's just it's not a good thing so now you have an English budgie what now what do I suggest my number one suggestion would be get a good vet especially I think many birds who do end up having English budgies you start knowing when when it's time to let go when you start having a lot of vet visits and what I mean by that is that because like especially at that stage when you know like they're close to being put down or they're having a lot of health issues um, you're gonna spend a lot of money at the vet and with these guys it's just bound to happen with any animal I mean after all day just stuff you start visiting vets and stuff but with these guys because they have a short lifespan people all of a sudden just kind of get surprised that they're having to see the vet more frequently which I don't know why that's surprising you should really be seeing the vet every six months but with these guys you need a bit more you need to save your money a bit more so make sure you have a good vet I don't want to end this on a bad note I love them they're very affectionate birds they're beautiful beautiful birds they come with beautiful beautiful colors but I want to make this video because I want people to know that they come with health issues and you should be aware of them and I don't suggest you buying them I do suggest in fact you rescue or adopt one thank you guys um, I love both of them and hopefully you guys enjoyed this short video um, have a nice day guys bye bye